die right cause they can't miss All about the game, that's a cold swish Serving up the truth, call it ruthless Tune in and get your fix from Blake and Fish Sports He asked this question, so he said How do you rank Green Bay against the Cardinals in Dallas? Mm. I think they're pretty comparable to Dallas I think them and Dallas are very comparable situations. It's more of a high-powered offense. Obviously, you have Dak and Rodgers are really good quarterbacks. You The receiving cores, uh, I mean, the Cowboys are a little better, and then the, the Cowboys have a little better running backs too. But I'd say LaFleur is a much better coach than McCarthy offensive-wise. So uh, that kind of balances out the talent differentiation. And then once the Packers get their O-linemen back, because they're all seemingly injured right now, their O-line will be dominant, I think, and the Cowboys O-line has been pretty good. They do have a weak link at center, but uh, I think the offenses are comparable. And then the defenses have both been – I think the Cowboys has been a really pleasant surprise um, so thus far, especially Diggs being as good as he's been. And then the Packers defense has been really inconsistent, obviously 38 points week one. And then uh, against the Niners, and then who did they play last – against the Steelers they were they were okay but those are against um quarterbacks that were struggling so what will they do against a Dak Prescott I don't know but uh, I think the Cowboys and the Packers are pretty comparable and then Cardinals maybe a step above maybe maybe around them uh I'd say the I'd say the Cardinals may be the best team thus far but I think at the end of the season the Cardinals and I think the Packers could be ahead of the Cardinals, honestly, at by the end of the season. So uh, I'm actually, I actually, I'm really intrigued by this question because all three teams are kind of similar in different ways to me. All three have pretty much unstoppable offenses, especially when they're on. I uh, like and like Kellen Moore, even though McCarthy is not the best, Kellen Moore has been scheming it up for the Cowboys this year, and their offense is obviously unstoppable. They run the ball really well. That's been shocking to me. Zeke Elliott looks very good this season. He does. It's it's I I can't believe he turned back the clock like that. Um, Dak Prescott's obviously an ter- amazing quarterback. He's so smart. He always knows where to go with the ball. He manages a pocket so well. He's so accurate. Two great receivers and Lamb and Amari Cooper, and then they'll get Gallup back. And you know Cedric Wilson's looked pretty good. Yes. And Blake Jarwin, Dalton Schultz are kind of sneaky underrated. Uh, um contributors for their offense uh or especially Dalton Schultz excuse me I think Jarwin might be hurt if I'm not mistaken but to me he He's also is it. a contributor when healthy um but uh um uh I I think the big diff I, I and they all have to me opportunistic defenses too in the sense that like it's not that they have like this unstoppable like 2015 uh Broncos type defense but they have solid defensive coaches good schemes they have regret um Joe Barry isn't the most aggressive but Dan Quinn has been more aggressive this season and Vance Joseph is very aggressive so a somewhat dissimilar uh defensive play callers but the idea with their defense is that they force turnovers all three of them they're opportunistic in that sense but the reason I give Arizona the edge, because to me, the offense is it's kind of a moot conversation because all three kind of even themselves out, is I just think Arizona has the most premium players on their defensive side of the ball. Mm-hmm. Maybe Dallas might have that. I mean, Micah Parsons, we might be sitting here by the end of the season and saying, wow, Micah Parsons digs on the same defense isn't fair. But right now, when I look at Arizona, I, the reason I have them a cut above is just I believe in Buda Baker, J.J. Watt, Chandler Jones. Those guys that just make plays, you know, when a game is on the line and you're in this offensive battle, you need one defensive play to steal a possession back or something. And I'd probably rank Arizona just a hair above those two right now, just because I I think Arizona does have those players who will steal the possession back. But overall, to me, they're all actually very similar in in a lot of ways. And I I think they're three of the best teams in the NFC. There's no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. And I think the only difference just generally speaking, is the Cardinals with Kyler haven't been in a playoff situation. They are lacking in experience in that kind of way. We know Dak has gone to the playoffs a couple of times. He's won a series. He's lost a series. Um, he lost to the Packers, but he did beat a couple teams. I, I want to say he beat the Seahawks in uh, 2018, maybe? 2017? Yeah. Some One of those times, but he has won a playoff game. And then 
obviously the Packers just go to the NFC Championship game and lose, but the Cardinals haven't been there with Kyler. And, I mean, it's not to say that Kyler is not a playoff quarterback. We just haven't seen it, but you don't know. They haven't been, quote-unquote, battle-tested, I guess you could say is the term, um, and the fact that they've been playing in December, late in December and January. So I'm interested to see how they do in that uh, situation as we just haven't seen it yet. That's fair. That is that is a real question, Mark. But I think this was a really great question because it's, mm-hmm. I actually, once he asked that question, I actually realized like, wow, even though their rosters aren't exactly similar schematically, they're not similar. When you look at the fact that it's a really high powered offense and then it's kind of a middling but opportunistic defense on all three uh, on all three teams, it's actually similar from that standpoint. And then we're talking about three of the top six or seven or eight best quarterbacks in the NFL. So it's pretty unbelievable that way. I do think that Eric Cardinals and Dallas have a lot more firepower on their offense in terms of explosive elements. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think Green Bay, it's really Aaron Jones, Devontae Adams. But then that's where Rodgers is so great. We're, we're talking about Kyler Murray and Dak, two guys that both of us probably have in the top seven or eight quarterbacks in the league. And we're putting the Packers right with them because well, first they have a really good scheme with LaFleur, obviously a sound scheme. And then Rodgers is just so precise and so unbelievable that he's just amazing like that. Mm-hmm. Definitely. But that, that is a great question. Um, so 